Welcome to my kitchen. Looks like we're one. I hope all of you are staying safe. We're gonna talk about an amazing GPU today. Okay. Modern GPUs are technology marvels. All it right. is the engine of large industries from design, cloud AI to scientific computing. Wow. But it is the gamers and their insatiable demand that is the driving force of the GPU. Yeah, because we never Pulling their happy, GPUs to create the largest distributed computer ever. A million gamers united to counter-strike the COVID-19 coronavirus. The yes. result was 2.8 exaflops. Five times the processing power of the world's largest supercomputer to simulate the virus. Folding at home was able to simulate 100 milliseconds, a tenth of a second in the life of the coronavirus, and capture the moment it opens its mouth to infect a human cell. Scientists believe this is also its moment of weakness. <laughs> I'm gonna need more Thank fingers. you all for joining this historic fight. We're gonna yeah, talk gonna about computer more. graphics the fuck? and the work we're doing to push the, the boundaries. That's crazy. We love computer graphics and have advanced it incredibly in the time of NVIDIA. As yeah, the technology have. advanced, the expressiveness time. of the medium has made graphics an invaluable tool to help us understand our world, it's create true. and explore new worlds, so true. tell stories that inspire us. True. From science to industry to the arts, computer graphics has made a profound impact on the world. And for that, we are privileged to have contributed. We're gonna talk about gaming Great. and the infinite ways that gaming awesome. is expanding. GeForce PC gaming is large and thriving. It's open yeah. and rapidly advancing technology combined with the amazing creativity of the community makes magic. Anyone could be a broadcaster now. Add a GeForce and you have That's a personal actually broadcast unfortunately true. Pros stream their practices. Yeah. Experts stream tips and tricks. Friends stream to friends just to hang out. There are over 20 million streamers. What about me? Games have become a new art medium. In Minecraft, gamers can build their work of art. Machinima artists create cinematics made <laughs> from fuck? game assets. Tens of millions are using games to express their creativity. How about that? Inside a computer simulation, any sport can become eSport. Virtual NASCAR and F1 are already attracting That's unfortunately top unfortunately the case. Like sports, eSports captures the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat uh, yes. and the human drama of athletic competition. eSports is on its way is to be the biggest sport. I have something special for all the for GeForce the gamers around the world four gifts i hope you like them and you'll find new ways to game all right first big news fortnite is turning rtx on now minecraft and fortnite the number one <laughs> and number two most played games in the world have rtx on wow. fortnite will get ray trace shadows wow. reflections ambient occlusion and dlss 2. these effects look fantastic with the art style of fortnite we i can't wait fortnite. to see a fortnite concert with rtx on the last one with Travis Scott was watched by 28 million people. That's crazy. Epic made a trailer for you. God Let's damn. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit, man. Really? Oh my god. That's nice. It looks better. 75% of that, GeForce gamers cute, play yeah. esports. Esports is a game of milliseconds. Reaction yeah. time is a combination of the gamer and the machine. Let yes. me explain. This is Valorant. Well, in this example, the opponent is traveling at 1500 pixels per second, and it's visible in this opening for only 180 milliseconds. Okay. A typical gamer has a reaction time of 150 milliseconds from okay. photon to action. I'm at 300. You can only hit this opponent if your PC adds less than 30 milliseconds. Most gamers have latencies far greater than 30 milliseconds, many up to 100 milliseconds. Today, we're announcing a new esports technology called NVIDIA Reflex. Oh, NVIDIA shit. Reflex optimizes the rendering pipeline across CPU and GPU to reduce latency by up to 50%. In oh, September, shit. we're releasing Reflex with our game-ready driver. Over 100 million GeForce gamers will instantly become more competitive. Valorant, Fortnite, Damn. Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, and Destiny 2 That's will be cool. the first to integrate Reflex technology. That's actually really cool. Esports That's a hack. Esports pros and yeah. enthusiasts strive for zero latency. Holy for shit. For you, we're announcing an insanely fast and beautiful display. Okay. A 360 hertz G-Sync display designed for esports. This display has a built-in precision latency analyzer. Just what connect your mouse. The NVIDIA 360 hertz G-Sync esports displays are arriving this fall from Acer, Alienware, Asus, and MSI. Yo, I want one. We've That's made cool. a video comparing gaming on a 60 hertz, 144 hertz, and 360 hertz display. Jesus. 
you can see immediately how 360 hertz display will help you target and track an opponent. Oh, shit. For the 20 million live streamers, we Damn. have something really cool for you. That's actually really NVIDIA cool. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room what the fuck? into a broadcast studio. Oh, NVIDIA no. NVIDIA Broadcast runs AI algorithms trained by deep learning on NVIDIA's DGX supercomputer, one what? of the most powerful in the world. Effects like audio noise removal, virtual background effects, whether graphics or video. Oh, my God. And webcam auto framing is a virtual camera person tracking you. These oh AI my. effects are amazing. That's Available really... Available for download what in September fuck? and runs on any RTX GPU. A new form of art has emerged from gaming called machinima. Artists are using game assets to okay. create cinematics. Yeah. There's been tens of billions of views on YouTube. That's Most a lot. are shorts. Some are even recreating entire classic movies. It's becoming a whole new art genre. Today, I'm going to show you an app that will make these cinematics amazing. It's called what? NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. What? It's an app built on our Omniverse 3D workflow collaboration platform. Omniverse is a universal design tool asset exchange with a viewer based on photorealistic path tracing. The That's engine is designed to be physically wow. accurate, simulating light, physics, material, and artificial intelligence. We have connectors for most third-party design tools like 3ds That's Max, really cool. Maya, Photoshop, Epic Unreal, Rhino, yeah. and many more. The Machinima app brings in elements and assets from games okay. and third-party collections like TurboSquid and lets you mix and compose them into a cinematic. Creators can use their webcam to drive our AI-based post estimator to animate characters. What Drive the face fuck? animation AI with your voice. Add high fidelity physics like particles and fluids. This is crazy. Make materials physically like, accurate. And then when done with your composition this and mixing, you can fuck render the characters. film quality cinematics with your RTX <laughs> GPU. Oh shit, y'all are right. NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. Beta in October. Sign up at <laughs> nvidia.com slash machinima. Let me show you a demo hey, we created people in spend a, few a lot days. of time at home We now. started with assets from Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord. Okay. You're gonna love this. I never played this. Oh, shit. So they made this with their machinima tool. Wow. Is it good? I don't even know. Oh, look at that! Maybe this game is good. Wait, why would they have them in the castle? Weren't trebuchets used as siege weapons? Whatever. Whoa. Damn. That was close. Yep. Guys are getting better. Both? Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea. I thought they were exclusively uh, like offensive weapons. For 40 years, since NVIDIA researcher Turner Witted first published his paper on ray tracing, Computer mm -hmm. science researchers have chased this dream to create super realistic virtual worlds with real-time ray tracing. Right. NVIDIA, seeing the ultimate limits of rasterization approaching, focused intense efforts what over is... the past 10 years to realize real-time oh, ray tracing that's on a that's the inside of my scale. computer, guys. It's right there. At two years ago, we announced the NVIDIA RTX. Yeah. Now, two years later, it is clear we have reinvented computer graphics. Wow. NVIDIA RTX is a full-stack invention. RTX starts with a brand new GPU architecture, but it is so much more. It okay. includes new engine tech and a bunch of new rendering algorithms. RTX it's is gold. a home run. All major 3D APIs have been extended for it's, RTX. It's gold, guys. RTX is supported by all major 3D tools. RTX tech is incorporated into that? all major game engines. There are hundreds of games in development and thousands of research papers of new rendering and AI algorithms enabled by RTX. Incredible. The RTX GPU has three fundamental processors. The programmable shader that we first introduced over 15 years ago. So the light switch. RT core to accelerate the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersections. The ball. An AI processing pipeline called Tensor Core. Tensor Core accelerates the linear algebra thing. that is used for deep neural network okay. processing, the foundation of modern AI. AI is the most powerful technology force of our time. Computers that learn from data and write yeah, software it's gonna take that over. no humans can. The advances are nothing short of breathtaking. NVIDIA is doing groundbreaking work in this area. You might have seen our work in self-driving yeah, cars and robotics. Take over, of course. Look at Computer that. Computer graphics and gaming will also be revolutionized by deep learning. Let me show you some recent works in the art of the possible. Oh yeah, I the want to see video this. is a generative adversarial network that has learned to synthesize virtual yeah. characters of any artistic genre including photorealistic, 
What the fuck? Second is a neural network that animates a 3D face directly from voice. You require more Vespine gas. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The AI character can speak in any language, okay. be any gender. The, the, the voice is kind of odd. Third is a character locomotion of infinite number of positions. What the fuck? Imagine negotiating arbitrary paths and obstacles. Look at that. The fourth is reconstructing 3D from video. Imagine the possibilities. Record video, interact in 3D. It's a bird. This one is a deep learning model that learned the physics behavior of cloth animation. That's insane. Finally, this deep learning model of ray tracing can predict colors of missing pixels so that fewer rays need to be cast and fewer pixels need to be fully rendered. We can achieve orders of magnitude speedups. AI is certain to play a giant role in the future of computer graphics and gaming. The powerful tensor cores and RTX GPUs will let us do AI in real time. One of the first major AI computer graphics breakthroughs that, what? is DLSS. That's fucking cool. Here's the challenge. Real-time ray tracing really is far more cool. beautiful, but requires a lot more computation per pixel than rasterization. Of course. So the solution is to ray trace fewer pixels and use AI on tensor cores to up-res, to super-res, to a higher resolution and boost frame rate. DLSS took nearly two years of intensive mm -hmm. research. We built a supercomputer to train the network. The DLSS model is trained on extremely high quality, 16K, offline rendered images Wait, of 16K? many kinds of content. Wait, 16K? Once trained, the model is downloaded into your driver. I thought we were at four. At runtime, DLSS 2.0 takes fuck? a low resolution, alias image and motion vector of the current frame and the high resolution previous frame to generate a high resolution current frame. God damn. I think DLSS is one of our biggest breakthroughs in the last 10 years. I would say Take a so. look at these images of Death Stranding, the latest game by Kojima-san. Holy shit, DLSS that's really is good. sharper than native wow. 4K and created detail from AI that native rendering didn't even uh, show. And the frame God rate damn. Reviewers it's have not loved the same. DLSS 2.0. They say its quality beats out native rendering and runs even faster. You can play at 4K without a performance hit. Tensor damn. Core effectively gives RTX a 2X performance boost. Let's look at one frame trace of a game to see the processors of RTX in action. Okay, let's see. Adding it. ray tracing to games dramatically increases the computation workload. Using shaders to do ray traversal and object intersection reduces the frame rate. That's that's true. We added the RT core, which reduces shader workload by 60%. Oh, they put the RT green core ones on. offloads the shaders by doing the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersection calculations. Using the same methodology as Microsoft Xbox, the RT core is effectively a 34 teraflop shader, and Turing has an equivalent of 45 teraflops while ray tracing. Even with RT core, the amount of there? time consumed is significant. So that RT core insane. and shaders have to run concurrently. That's so cool. Even then, 20 milliseconds is only 50 frames per second, and still a step back in performance relative to previous generations. Uh, that's so this is cool. This where the man. Tensor Core and DLSS come in. Rendering to a lower resolution, then using AI and super fast hey. Tensor Core to effectively double frame rate. Purple equals win. Now you win. can get ray tracing, there it is. get high resolution, Purple and high frame win, rate boys. at the same time. That's the magic of the three processors of RTX. Yeah. Turing was our first generation RTX GPU, combining ray tracing, programmable shading, and AI. The flagship Turing had a ton of processing power. 11 shader teraflops, 34 RT teraflops, and uh -huh. 89 tensor teraflops. What are flops? Let me show you our new RTX GPU. Ampere is a giant leap in performance. All right, let's see. Ampere it. does two shader calculations per clock versus one on Turing. Okay. 30 shader teraflops compared to 11. Ampere That's doubles more. ray triangle yes. intersection throughput. Ampere's RT core delivers 58 RT teraflops compared to Turing's 34. Whoopie and floppies, Ampere's new man. tensor core automatically identifies and removes less important DNN weights. Was BFA a teraflop? And the new tensor core hardware processed the sparse network at twice the rate of Turing. 238 tensor flops <laughs> compared to 89. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> NVIDIA's new Ampere GPU. That's so fucking Our second cool. generation RTX. God damn. 28 billion transistors. What the built fuck? Built on Samsung 8N NVIDIA custom process. All three processors double rates over Turing, a triple double. It connects to Micron's new G6X, the fastest memories ever made.
The days of just relying on double. transistor performance scaling is over. Yet Ampere is an incredible two times the performance and energy efficiency of Turing. At NVIDIA, Damn. we use every engineering lever to squeeze every drop of performance out of the system. From architecture, custom process design, circuit design, logic design, packaging, custom series IO, memory, power and thermal design, PCB design, software and algorithms, thousands of engineers per generation, billions of dollars. Full stack engineering and extreme craftsmanship what is the, the hallmark fuck? of our GPUs. Our performance, like how do you even energy make efficiency, like this? and low power are all world class. And real application performance highlights Ampere's new Dude, RT core. Insane. The more ray tracing is done, the greater the Ampere speed up. Ampere RT core doubles ray intersection processing. Its ray tracing is processed concurrently with shading. And Ampere can render cinematic images with motion blur that eight fun. times faster than Turing. Let's take a look oh, at Jesus. Ampere in action. Okay, at all right, Kitchen here we go. At our GTC a few months ago, we showed marbles, the world's first fully path traced photorealistic real-time graphics. Wait, I thought that was a video. It was running on our highest end Turing Quadro RTX 8000. Oh, Turing fuck. was doing 720p, 25 frames per second. Today, we're gonna run an enhanced version <laughs> of marbles with even more special effects. Okay, all right. And it is running at 1440p, 30 frames per second, over four times the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy marbles at night. Bro, that's fucking, that's real, man. Yo, that shit's real. Marbles is entirely path traced. No rasterization, all real time. Holy shit. There are hundreds of area lights, including spherical area lights. There's no pre-baking, everything is dynamic. What the fuck? The depth of field is film quality and beautiful. That's fucking incredible. Everything is dynamic. Diffuse GI, all Look dynamic. There are hundreds of rigid bodies, 80 million triangles. Materials Eight. are physically accurate, physics simulation and volumetric Look rendering in real time. Let's compare Marbles Turing and Marbles Ampere. Okay. You can see dramatic visual quality jump of Ampere. Marbles on Turing runs at 720p, 25 frames per second. Marbles and Ampere see, dude, runs at 1440p, like, 30 frames per second. Bro, like that More shit than four is times fucking the performance. real. That's and Ampere real. even did area lights and depth of field. That's that's real. A giant performance leap. That's 30 FPS. Today's only games are FPS. giant it's worlds, indoor and out, with photogrammetry, dense geometry, and lots of characters. Games are over 200 gigabytes and getting bigger. Yeah. This is like 50,000 songs or 400 hours of streaming that's video. Of 50 extra games, games have pushed PCIO and DOS to the you. breaking point. CPUs copy files from disk and decompress the game image. This is fine when the storage system was slow, Holy 50 shit. to 100 megabytes per second. Now with Gen 4 PCI Express and solid state drives, PCs can transfer data at seven gigabytes per second, a hundred times faster. CPU copying data to memory and decompressing game images. It took me three hours to download a game? Decompressing data from 100 megabytes per second what? hard drives takes only a few CPU cores. However, decompressing from seven gigabytes per second what? SSDs on PCIe Gen 4 takes over 20 CPU cores. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA RTX IO with okay. three new advances. New IO APIs for fast loading and streaming directly from SSD to GPU memory. GPU lossless decompression and collaboration with Microsoft on direct storage for Windows that streamlines the transfer of data from storage to GPU memory. With NVIDIA RTX IO, vast worlds will load instantly. Is that cool? Picking up where you left off will be instant. PC too? This is a very big deal for next generation gaming. Let me show you Ampere in action in one of the most anticipated games of 2020. Cyberpunk? CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk. This trailer is called Scenes of Cyberpunk RTX. Okay, so we're gonna see it. It shows ray trace reflections. Oh shit, illumination, okay. Shadows, ambient inclusion, and DLSS 2.0. Yo, this might actually make me want to play Enjoy. the game. Okay. That is, that's actually really good. I mean, it, it doesn't look like that much different, but it looks good. 
I like that one scene with the guys driving around. That was cool. Damn. Oh, it comes out on November 19th. I didn't even know that. Ladies and gentlemen, our new flagship GPU. Okay. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Three. Yeah, you knew it, Powered dude. by Ampere. Yep. Second generation RTX architecture. All right, let's see it. Looks just like the old one. Oh. That's because it was the old one. I see now. I was like, that's the same one. That's... <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's what, dude. Oh my god. All right, here's here's the new one. Bro, that's the same effect they had in Terminator, man. This is getting me afraid. I'm getting scared now. Look at that. I never thought I'd get hyped up about a graphics card. You know? This is pretty cool. Oh, I'll break that one too. 3x more quieter. Okay. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Damn. Cool, which is important. Damn. It's only $4,000. RTX 3080. That's really I have one cool. right here. Let me show it to you. Okay. Oh, it was hiding. It is beautiful. I like Look at that. This. It was hiding the whole time. The RTX 3080. Damn. It is wonderfully crafted. That looks, it it's looks look really cool. It's going to look beautiful on your PC. And it lights up. Oh, shit. Let me shit. tell you about some of the other exciting technologies inside. All right, we're buying it. That's it. Turing used G6, cool. the fastest memories I'm at that sold. time. The industry thought that was the I'm, limit. That's it. For Ampere, we had to push through that limit. Yeah. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling. Pulse amplitude modulation. With four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each. 00011011. Each voltage step is only 250 millivolts. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. Okay. PAM4 is extreme signaling technology and it's just becoming used in high-speed networking. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow-through oh. design, working harmoniously with PC chassis cooling system, pulling in cool air from the outside, flowing through the GPU Damn. and pushing hot air straight out the chassis. That is pretty To allow cool. room for a fan to flow air directly through the module. Our engineers architect a super dense PCB design Can't believe it's only $200? that is 50% smaller than previous while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs, That's crazy. HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and G6X. There are two independently controlled fans. The bracket front fan pulls cool air from the bottom and pushes the heated air out through the graphics card brackets. Really a backside pull through fan passes cool air over the fins of the heat pipe and directs the hot air to the top and back of the chassis to be exhausted by the system fan. The 3080 flow through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. Damn. It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. The generational leap is ultimately the most important Dude, factor of really GPUs. Good. Like, I, I can't get over that. It actually looks good. technology advance is needed to inspire content developers to create the next level of content. Yeah. And for the install base to upgrade. Let's see how the 3080 stacks up the previous okay, generation architectures go. on the latest graphics intensive games. 3080 is faster than 2080 Ti. 
3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price. Ampere Wait, is the what? biggest generation. Holy fuck! Ladies and gentlemen, God Nvidia damn! Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080, our new flagship GPU, powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX what GPU architecture. What the fuck? Incredible amounts of processing in the shader. It's like 700 bucks. RT ray tracing core and Tensor Core for processing AI. 10 gigabytes of G6X, twice the processing power of 2080. No way. And at the same price, starting at 699. Holy Available shit. September 17th. One of our most popular GPUs is the 70 series. What the fuck? 970, 1070, what 2070, the fuck? We're all hugely popular. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, the Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, the new GeForce RTX 3070. Yeah, damn. Let me show it to you. Okay. It's a work of art. So 20 this... shader teraflops. This is only 400 RT bucks? 40 RT teraflops. And 163 teraflops tensor core for AI processing. Bro, what? With 8 gigabytes of G6. Bro, what? RTX 3070 is faster than the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti. That is insane. Starting at 499, available in October. Holy fuck. Every generation we pack in our best Lands. ideas to increase performance while introducing new features that enhance image quality. Every couple of generations, the stars align as it did with Pascal and we get a giant generational leap. Pascal was known as the perfect 10. Pascal was a huge success and set a very high bar. It took the super family of Turing to meaningfully exceed Pascal on game performances without ray tracing. With ray tracing turned on, Pascal, using programmable shaders to compute ray triangle intersections, fell far behind Turing's RT core. Uh huh. And Turing with ray tracing on reached the same performance as Pascal with ray tracing off. Okay. On a technical basis, this was a huge achievement. The images are far more beautiful, and reflection and shadow artifacts are gone. But gamers want it more. They want yes. every generation to be more realistic and higher frame rate at the same time. Yes. So we double down on everything. Twice the shader, twice the ray tracing, and twice the tensor core. The triple double. Ampere knocks the daylights out of Pascal so on ray tracing. this 400 thing is better than mine now? And even with ray tracing on, what? crushes Pascal on frame rate. What? To all my Pascal gamer friends, it is safe to upgrade now. Damn. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. Activision and developer Treyarch oh, yeah. are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. It's a masterpiece and it looks incredible. And WoW's gonna have ray tracing too. dynamic lights, ray tracing, shadows and ambient occlusion, DLSS 2.0, and NVIDIA Reflex super low latency technology. The last Call of Duty sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never Jeez. before seen footage. Oh. Enjoy. Oh, another one. Okay. Yeah, Activision's got to pay me. I've been advertising this game too much. We watched too many trailers about this game. They got to send me like, I don't know, 10 grand or something. Yeah. Or just send me one of these cards. How about that? That looks pretty good. This is really what they did back in the 80s. They just like beat up punching bags with guns. That's what they did? Damn. I missed out. That's some manly ass shit. Let me talk to you about one more thing. Several years ago, we started building the Titan, pushing okay. the GPU to the absolute oh, limit. Oh, that's the expensive one. To create the ones. best graphics card of that generation. Yeah, it's the expensive one. It that was built in limited money. quantities and only through NVIDIA. The distribution yeah. was limited. The demand surprised us. Creatives were making 4K movies, rendering mm -hmm. cinematics. Researchers built workstations for data science and AI. Maybe I'll be able Loggers to run wild. Wow. Broadcast workstations, flight and racing simulation Damn. fans oh, built sim Oh shit, that's cool. There is clearly a need for a giant GPU yeah, that I'll is available wild, all over guys. the world. So we made a giant ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 3090. Come here. It's in the oven? 
<laughs> he put the motherfucker in the oven. Come here, Papa. Holy oh, shit. Man. 3090 is a beast. That's a... A ferocious GPU. That's a, a big GPU. boy. 36 shader teraflops. 69 RT teraflops. Who could they call 285 it? 285 tensor teraflops. And it comes with a massive... Oh, that's so good. Four gigabytes of G6X. That's so fucking good. It comes with a silencer. A three-slot dual a axle flow-through design. 10 times I quieter those were and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. Damn. But there's more. The 3090 is so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is it's insane. 60? Because it's impossible for us to show you what it looks like on the stream, we invited some friends to check it out. Okay. Roll the clip. What is this here? Four streamers. Andy and Mrs. Tim. Tim? Wait, Tim? Woo! I've never been more excited. Where's to Tim? Me. Oh, it's another Tim. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't know who any of these guys are. This is fing incredible. Dude. I, I'm not, this I don't know amazing. who they are. Oh, the resolution on this is silly. My yeah. God. You can see wear and tear on the treads. Look at this. Why Wait, Adam so Sussler? Detailed. All right, all Wait, right, all right, all right. Move fast and shoot things. Wait, 8K, sir. was that the guy from? The, that oh, was the guy from up. fucking. Not a whole lot of people uh, have seen something like this. this so the the G4 real. show? I feel like I'm really in battle. That was the this guy. This is insane. Die! I want to look That's, at the pretty Oh my pitch. god. There we go. Dude, the ray tracing is insane on this. These are the sizzle reels that you see. It's the same guy. And then it's like it'll never look like that, but it does. <laughs> I'm like looking across the vistas, the grand vistas that are happening right now. Holy sh! Look at this. This feels like a Disneyland experience. Oh, it is so smooth. It's that's butter. just yeah. Oh, whenever people die in Disney movies, that's my favorite stuff. part. I mean, this is game changing. There's With no my other guns, way and there's blood everywhere, my and they're Nazis. Well, dude. It's my favorite wow. Disney movie. It's been 20 years since the Nvidia GPU introduced programmable shading. The GPU revolutionized modern computer graphics. Developers jumped on and invented clever algorithms. The chat like in NVIDIA that doesn't like that one. They didn't like that one. Or post-processing effects for soft shadows, ambient occlusion, and reflections. Yeah. Developers pushed the limits of rasterization beyond anyone's expectations. Meanwhile, NVIDIA GPU processing increased a stunning 100,000-fold. Gaming became a powerful technology driver. So what? Gamers grew to billions, and gaming pushed into all aspects of entertainment and culture. Mm -hmm. If the last 20 years was amazing, the next 20 will seem nothing short of science fiction. What Today's to Ampere say? launch is a giant step into the future. This is our greatest generational leap ever. The second generation NVIDIA RTX, fusing programmable shading, ray tracing, and artificial intelligence gives us photorealistic graphics and the highest frame rates at the same time. Once the holy grail of computer graphics, ray tracing is now the standard. Damn. And Ampere is going to bring you joy that? beyond gaming. It's so NVIDIA crazy, it's so cheap. to improve cheap. your response time. Oh. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room into a studio. And Omniverse Machinima turns that you into insane. an animated filmmaker. We are super pleased with 3070, 3080, and 3090, the first three members of the Ampere generation. You're going to feel a boost like never before. I can't wait to go forward 20 years to see what RTX started. Homes will have holodecks. We will beam ourselves through time sure and next, space, next year they'll traveling at the speed machine. of light, sending photons, wait, not atoms. What the In fuck? In this future, G-Force is your holodeck, your lightspeed starship, your time machine. Should I be wearing In this these? future, we will look back and realize that it started here. Thank you for joining us yeah. today. And to all of our fans for celebrating the arrival yeah, of Ampere. what the fuck? What's going on? Well, regardless, sold out. I'm going to fucking... Dude, I'm going to fucking buy that, man. Uh, that, that Do they accept kidney payments? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, that is fucking insane. You can't use it? I mean, this shit's not going to be out for probably like two months, realistically. So, it's like, I'm probably going to just like get this PC. I might just upgrade to the 3090, man. Like, I, I might honestly just upgrade to the 3090 whenever this shit comes out. Like, I, I, and just say, fuck it, man. 
and September 17th. Oh, no, no, I wanted to wait until they had the really good one out. Because, like, the odds are, like, the shipping, it's, like, it's going to take a while for this shit to happen, realistic. I mean, like, it, you will get it by that time, you know what I mean? Dude, that's fucking insane. That is absolutely fucking insane. Wow. I I'll be honest, like, I thought this, dude, I thought this event was going to be some fucking 100% nerd shit. Like, I'll be real, like, I thought this was gonna be like some Oh, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be really good, and, uh, it's... It, we, we changed the color, and, you know, now it's just really cool. But actually, this is fucking impressive. I, I, I'm genuinely uh, amazed by how, how well this, this went, and how exciting it was. I, I don't know, like, it, it's crazy to think, because, like, how long... Like, how far away are we from, like, photorealistic VR with, like, deep dive neural links? Like, I, I don't know, fucking 15, 20 years at this point? It seems like, I don't know, I felt like graphics was kind of, like, at a plateau in a way. And and then they do something else, and it's like, woo! You know, it just goes off and, you know, does whatever else. That's crazy. A decade from now, new Platinum Law video? Yeah, I, I'll take a look at it in a bit. Um, but this is insane. The 30, 80, yeah, wow, what the fuck, man? Uh, SAO is five years away? Oh, dude, I don't know. Like, it, this is just, it's so impressive to me to see this. Realistic VR porn? Listen, the future is bright. Okay, guys, let's just say that. The future is bright. So, yeah, this is going to be fucking amazing. Like, I, I'm I'm really, really impressed by all of this. Honestly, I, I really am. Like, this is really fucking cool. And uh, I, I want to see some more of this, too. Like, I, I, I'm really, really impressed by everything here. So, what is there? Do they follow me? No, they don't follow me. Should DM them and be like, hey, uh, could I get one? Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. I'll follow them right now. That that's insane, dude. Yeah, can I, yeah, tweet at them. Hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, I heard you got a really good the graphics card. Can I get that? Yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like that's fucking incredible. Like I, I honestly like I didn't expect like that level of uh, of a quality increase. Usually, whenever I you know, <laughs> begging. Well, I don't know, man. Just really quick. Yeah, dude. If I get that, just really quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I get that? Yeah, how about that, dude? Is, is that good? What do you guys think? I just send it to him? Could I get that? Yeah, okay, alright, I'm gonna do it. Can I get that? that that's insane. I, I just sent it, dude. Who gives a fuck, man? Who gives a fuck? Uh, but as for it for free, I mean, like, that's obviously what it's gonna be, you know? Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's... That's really impressive. I've always been, like, honestly, I've always been, like, an NVIDIA guy. Like, I'm not just saying that just because the thing came out. Like, every graphics card that I have is always an NVIDIA card. And I've had them ever since 2010. And so I, I've... I, I thought about going to the, um, to the fucking AMD with, like, the Threadripper. But now, I don't know if I will, man. I, I, I don't know. Because it feels like this is a lot fucking cheaper, too.